So given the following graph, they say which you have minus, you have minus two sine theta minus one. And then the goal says which we should draw the graph from zero up until we go to our two, two, three, six. Okay, we say, by now we know using our calculator. Let's go to our calculator. And then on our calculator, we are going to go to mode again. By now I think we're comfortable going to mode. Okay, mode seven. And then we're going to type this thing exactly the way it is. It says we have minus. Who calculator, uh, especially the casual calculators, whether you use this minus or use this minus, it doesn't matter. Yes. They don't cover otherwise. At a point. Okay, we'll see. We'll, we'll check with how, how best can we deal with it. So we have 10. We have 10 alpha x. Né? And then we close, and then we say minus one. Equals to, where do you want to start? You are going to start at zero. Né? Where do you want to end? You want to end at 360. Né? Now, unlike before, our step, when it comes to a turn graph, it's going to be slightly different. Our step with 10 graph, we're going to use 45. Our step with 45, uh, our 10 in our step in, in, in 10 is 45. Our step in sign and cost graph, especially in grade 10, we use 13. It yeah. makes our graph look better. Né? The other thing that we could have done is to use 15. The safest one is 15 because 15 works whether you have 50, whether you have 45 or you have 30, it doesn't matter. It's going to be covered there. So with 10, the step that we're going to be using, it works best with 45. Né? So I'm going to put 45 here. And then now, what do we have then? We have a situation whereby it speaks about error. Ne? I'm going to look for the errors first. 90, it's an error. Ne? When I see there's an error, I'm going to come and highlight at 90 and say at 90, yeah, there's an error. Ne? What is an error? How do I represent an error? I represent it with dotted lines. How do you represent an error? You represent it with what? With dotted lines. And then where else do we have an error? We have an error at 270. Ne? So at 270, you come and also do total lines like this. So we're done with the errors. Ne? As soon as we're done with the errors, then, then you can go and plot the points. Now you have points before the error, you are going to connect those points. And then you have other points after an error, you connect those dots. And then you have another error, you connect those dots. So you connect our dots according to the error before the error that we have. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's start with number one. On number one, we have zero and 45. Let's go to zero and 45. Zero and 45. So zero is to zero. That's the first one. Zero is to negative one. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, my apologies. So it's zero is to negative one. Yes. Okay, 45. We don't go to 30. We go to 45. Where is 45? 45 is between 30 and 60. Yes. What does that one give us? Negative. It gives us negative three. We come and say here. Ne? Now, after that, it says error. Ne? Am I right? Yeah. Now, because it says an error, I'm just going to connect these two. So it's dot number one, it's dot number two. And then this thing here is going to approach this line, and then we are done. It doesn't touch the line. <laughs> did you see what I just did? You have dot number one, you have dot number two, you connect them. It's not a straight line, this thing. It's a curve. You should always understand which it's a curve. And then after that, you just put an arrow to say which it's approaching this air. It's supposed to approach the air. Let's move on then. What else do we have? We have 110, we have 135, Angish. 135 goes with what? Positive one. Okay, let's go to positive one then. This one goes with positive one. 135, it goes with positive one. After that, you have what? 180. 180 goes with what? Negative one. Okay, you come here. And then you have you have Two, 225, no? 225 goes with what? It's here. It's fine. It's here. 
So how many dots do you have there? You have three. Right? So this thing, when you go from the first dot to the second dot, it's a curve, this thing here. It's supposed to do something like this. So you're going to have dot number one, and then you go to dot number two, and then from the owner to go to dot number three. And then you just put an R like this. Error again. Yeah, but it's not a straight line. One thing that you should understand is not a straight line. It's a curve, this thing. It's curvy. Let's go to the last one, man. On the last one, what do we have? We have 315. 315 goes with what? Wow. It goes with positive one. So here it is. After that, we have 316. Yeah. It goes with minus one. And then after that, you connect these two dots. Dot number one and dot number two. I'm trying to make them to curve. And then this thing is approaching this. And then this is how our 10 graph is going to look like. There's nothing special. We are done. Yes. Huh?